can you forgive me i'm having a drink and it's not wine it's not juice it's actually called infused water and it is among the things that you're actually supposed to be given the moment you visit a massage parlor good morning and thank you for joining us this morning on sunrise at see you just in time for your beauty wellness and lifestyle segment well this time on beauty and lifestyle we're going to be discussing massage as a therapy do you know that massage is not just about beating 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 your body no it's actually therapeutic and that is what we're going to be discussing of course i'm not a qualified massage therapist so i am no one to tell you really what to do but joining me at the center of this discussion again is the gorgeous yvonne good morning yvonne and good thank morning. you so much for joining us thank this morning so absolutely so today we are going to be talking about massage as a therapy so for someone first of all let us break it down what do i what do we mean when we say we're talking about massage as a therapy Therapy is something that is, um, no pun intended, but a remedy, a solution. Okay. So we have so many things that are going on, our bodies are breaking apart, we stand for too long, we are possibly seated for too long, and our bodies are possibly not getting the exercise and the movement that they need, and massage now comes in to aid in that, that is why it's called a therapy. Okay, so what are some of the techniques used during massage? Uh, we have different techniques. There is, I will name them as we call them. Okay. Um, there is techniques, uh, for example, effleurage, petrissage, um, friction, vibrations. All these are techniques used together to come up with a massage. Okay, so all these techniques are combined when you're doing a particular massage or they are used in all types of they massages? They are generally used in all types of massages. The variations will come in with uh, medium being like the oil used. Some massages don't use oil or um, pressure or tools that are used in okay. a massage. Okay, so now today our emphasis is looking at massage as a therapy. So the first things, what are some of the questions for someone who decides to walk in to have a massage for the first time? What do they need to ask their massage therapy? Um, actually, we need to ask them mm -hmm. um, so that we can be able then to place them in a certain category and see um, which massage would be best for them. Number one is have they had massage before? If it is your first experience with massage, then you don't want to throw in someone and have maybe something like a deep tissue, it may be too strong for them. Number two is what their budget is and they possibly may not have enough money for our higher end massages and also what how much time they want to spend in the spa and okay. that would help us to be able to offer them something that suits them. So is there a time when someone should avoid having a massage? Um, this we call contraindications. Yes, there are times you should avoid having a massage. Um, the one that comes to mind immediately is pregnant women in your first trimester. We avoid taking care of them because that's also a very sensitive period. After they go into their second trimester, then we can take them in. Okay, so is it advisable? Are you allowed, to, first of all, I need to understand, very many people during a massage time, you know, they're allowed to sleep. You're not allowed to talk. Why is that so? So that you can give your mind that time. Now, we are in a very busy world. We're interacting with people all the time. When you come here, you want to come here and relax and unwind and just be in your thoughts. There are very many solutions that you can find when you're just in your alone time. And that's why you find most parts will have the ambience, the music, even um, uh, the, the lights will be dimmer to give you the sense of like it's time to sleep. So your body now relaxes and allows us also to go in deeper. Because when your muscles are stiff and you're tensed, it's, it's harder for us to work. Okay, so now let's look at the different body types. So one would say body textures. Would do you best the types of massages that you give to the kind of people that come in looking at their body types, their body textures, and also their skin? Mm -hmm. Skin, not necessarily, unless maybe they have a skin condition going on. Body types, yes, but mostly for how active someone is in their lifestyle. Because then this comes in because it affects your muscle tone. If you're active and you're working out all the time, a Swedish massage may not work for you because your muscles are toned and you may not feel it. Okay. Yeah, if you're someone like me who's not that active, a Swedish massage can relax me because I, my muscles are not so tense. Okay. I mean, not so tight, rather. Okay, mm -hmm. so now let's break down the different types of massages and which category of people specifically should go for them. Okay, um, the most basic that you will find in all spas is a Swedish massage. So this falls in the category of more relaxing. So it will have low to medium pressure and then deep tissue, which will have techniques of um, a Swedish massage, but will have stronger pressure because then it works in a deeper layers of the muscles. So who would you recommend to go for a deep tissue massage? People who are active, people who are possibly also recovering from injury, people like sports people, um, people who do massages more often because ma massage in itself also improves your muscle tone. 
Okay. If you are regular with massages, the deep tissue will be better for you than a Swedish. Okay. Um, there's also aromatherapy where you use essential oils mm -hmm. to to blend. So most of the questions, one of the questions that we'll ask when you come in for aromatherapy is what are you looking to achieve? Yeah, if you're looking to relax, maybe you could have a headache or you have strain in your muscles and we can blend oils to suit whatever you're trying to solve. Um, mm -hmm. Then a hot stone massage, which is a Swedish massage, then with the hot stones as well. Okay, so those are just, those you are mentioned the three, the basics? You, that you would find in any spa. Okay. Yeah. How about not looking at the basics? How about outside there? Are there other types of massages? Yes, there are many other types of okay. massages. There's what um, uh, we call rungu massage, it uses sticks. Rungu? There's, yes, there's okay. bamboo massage, which uses bamboo. They use them like to roll on your muscles, like chapati. <laughs> <laughs> so those tend to be on the deeper side, but they can also be relaxing depending on the pressure that is used. Mm -hmm. very important that we get to look at the massages, different types of massages step by step as recommended uh, by a qualified massage therapist. Among them we have the Swedish ma massage, we have the aromatherapy massage, you know we have the deep tissue massage, she told me there is even bamboo massage, snake massage, all these massages are very important depending on what exactly you are looking for or the kind of body texture that you have or the activities that you do, it's very important that you classify so that you're able to understand understand the kind of massage that you're going to be having okay so we're talking about the different types of massages and you gave me about three or four and you earlier on behind the scenes you're telling me how you walked into a place and you found a snake massage now which one is that mm -hmm. there are places where but not here mm -hmm. um, in the asian world where they do they pour snakes on your back and the snakes will just roll on your back oh. and that is also called snake massage are you sure that is a massage not torture that's why i say most of the <laughs> Massages that now have are coming up, it's, they are a bit out of the norm for mm -hmm. the adventurers and if you are bored out of your routine, out of the normal massages that are in the spa. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I need, for someone watching us this morning, mm -hmm. they need to know mm -hmm. what to expect on their first day when they come to a massage parlor. Okay. So that they are not shocked like that. <laughs> that friend might be me, but anyway. <laughs> Um, uh, depending on the massage that you're having, um, you will be required to undress, mm -hmm. but most spas will then cover you. So you are covered and we do preserve your modesty and ours as well, so you're not like out there naked. We offer you um, disposable underwear out of, we don't want to damage your own with oil and product, mm -hmm. but there are people who prefer to keep their own, which is also okay. Um, certain spas will have um, facilities like a steam room, a sauna, and you'd want to also use those as well. So make sure that you're asking all these questions before you go in. That way you don't go and get yes, shocked, surprise, yeah, surprised. Yes. There are also spas that have both female and male therapists. It's nice to ask, depending on what your preference is. And you can book in maybe with a therapist that you're more comfortable with. Okay, so mm -hmm. any last remarks? Um, massage is good for you. <laughs> Just like that. Just like massage that. is therapy, it is yes. good, it mm -hmm. is very important. By the way, the first advice that I would give to someone who is going for massage for the very first time 
is that you need to speak up or mm. speak up if you're in pain. In, yes. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. Those questions that we may read, that we may mm. see, that see. Of course, it's quite absurd that some massage mm. callers that you walk in and you ask questions. Mm. Some may be like, "Ah, girl has kajanya," but ask questions mm. because at the end of the day, it mm. is your body. And just like that, you have heard and understood that massage can actually be a therapy. It's not a bougie thing. It's not the thing for the rich. It's something that actually helps to relieve and reduce the stress on your body. Two things that you must take home with, two things that I have picked out. It's very important that if you decide to go in for any massage, learn to speak out. Are you in pain? Ask those questions. Like, you see those smallest questions? Do I need to undress? Who is going to massage me? Please ask the question so that you don't get irritated when you enter the room but otherwise that wraps up what i had for you this morning on beauty wellness and lifestyle keep watching sunrise at sea because we still have so much more in store for you and don't blink